Okay, so after the larynx, the next thing that comes up is called the trachea. And as it says here, the trachea is the windpipe. And if you'll notice that the windpipe or the trachea has C-shaped cartilage rings. And like it says here, the esophagus is stuck to the back of this. And it's too bad we can't dissect this because we actually tear the esophagus off of the, of the trachea. But the reason being is because like it says here, the trachea is distorted by balls of food as they pass down the esophagus to the stomach. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at this right now. And so what you're looking at here right now is the trachea, hold on. Just wanna grab my pen. Okay, so it's the trachea. This is the larynx up here. Remember, this is your voice box. That's, that's up in here. This, this was the voice box right here. And that's what we talked about last time, right? And then this is the trachea that's down in here. And if you, as you can see, it's, it has cartilage right here. It's almost like it's plastic. And you can see then there's little openings between this, okay, which is just, uh, which is, uh, which are ligaments. Okay, so that's the cartilage as you see. Now, um, like they showed here, imagine you would have sliced this off and then you were looking down at the trachea. So you're looking, you, you take this whole part here, this whole part here, you take it off and then you look down this way. And this is what it would look like over here, kind of like this toilet bowl looking thing. If you notice this cartilage is C-shaped. Okay, it's a C-shaped cartilage. It's got mucus glands on the inside because that's gonna provide mucus. Mucus, remember, is like a sticky fluid. That's kind of like, um, that's kind of like saliva that's in here. And then you also have little hairs that stick out called cilia, and they're actually gonna be within the mucus. So what'll happen is this will actually catch some microbes and move them up towards the throat. If you see back here, you have the trachealis muscle. And I'm not too concerned about that. This is the main thing I'm concerned about here is the fact that you know that these are C-shaped. And when you swallow food, this is your esophagus. So the esophagus connects the throat to the stomach. When you swallow food, this opens up. And as it opens up, it'll push into the trachea. This has to open up for food to go down there. It makes no sense to have the esophagus open all the time when you only eat three or four times a day. So the esophagus is usually flat, but when you swallow, this opens up and part of the esophagus goes into the trachea. And that's why it's got the C shape and, and not all the way around. If it was all the way around, it'd be hard to swallow or almost impossible to swallow. Now, the reason you have the cartilage that keeps the trachea open is because you need to breathe all day long. So you need your trachea to be open all day long. It wouldn't make sense for your trachea to open and close all day long like it does with the esophagus. So that's why these are C-shaped. These cartilages are C-shaped. Okay, so um, if you notice too, my trachea is gonna come down and it's gonna end right down here. Okay, and then you're gonna get your primary bronchi. So where these split off, it's called bronchi. And then if you also notice, it's gonna split again into secondary bronchi. And basically that's what we're gonna be talking about in the next video is the bronchi. So this is about it for the trachea. There's not a whole lot to it other than the C-shaped rings. The trachealis muscle is right here and the esophagus will actually impede or bulge into this circular uh, opening that's back here in, into the back of the trachea.